What are the most important digital innovations in telecommunications? We will learn from Amdoxis, Galin Grigorov. I don't see my smoke and my fireworks. Why is that? <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Galin. I'm a site manager of Famdox Bulgaria and also leading the digital transformation unit in EMEA. So let me tell you first about Amdox. We are with uh, more than 40 years of uh, being a shadowing the world's leading telecoms and media companies. Uh, Amdox enables them to deliver excellence to their customers. You know, these days, everything is around digital transformation. You know, you have digital transformation here, digital transformation there. You open your fridge, there is digital transformation inside. However, digital transformations, especially in the telecommunications, are complex. So it takes two to three years in order to uh, have this transformation. Some people are saying that it's open process, it never finished. So, <clears throat> the recent survey, just to brief you about the complexity, a uh, recent survey done by TM Forum and Omdia, uh, among the telecoms, 48% of the survived providers have more than 100 systems in their architecture. And 37% of them actually, they're planning to increase this number in the next 18 months. This makes, you know, the digital transformation a really, really uh, complex thing. And if operators decide to save from money, save from uh, time, or some of the functionalities, there are top three transformation risks. So it's either revenue disruption, unfortunately, customer disruption, or in general, business process disruption. So on one side, we know that digital transformations are needed. On the other side, how to do it? So, you know, market knows how to react in such kind of cases, and we already have the telecom market solution about it. So these are actually the digital brands. They disrupt the market. So the digital brands are virt virtual. They're innovative and unique in, their customer, in the customer experience which they provide. They don't uh, have these old stacks, more than 100 system. They have very simple business portfolio, so they can grow fast, and they're cost efficient and lean. So actually, this is a pumping. They are growing fast. This pumping and pumping and pumping. Uh, so they, McKinsey, on their side, they report uh, top five enablers for successful digital digital brand uh, launch. So first. You should have cloud-native architecture. Second, you need to create personalized products and unique customer journeys. Your total, the total experience of your customers and actually all the parties involved should be based on the persona with low-code and fully configurable. You need to use at the end advanced analytics in order to, uh, fast, uh, to, <clears throat> to, to provide fast business decision-making. And nevertheless, shift left and empower the business users. So let's try to take a few examples. What exactly is digital brand? Uh, the first example is 20. 20 is the digital brand in UK. It operates by millennial, and the customers are also millennials. There is another one called GiveGov. It's operated by Telefonica. They have a large community. And they built something, the customers built something like a wiki, so the digital brand reduced 90% of the cost for, um, for the call center services. Currently, the ODS call center and support services are provided by the other users. The other users receive points, bonuses, promotions about this. Another example is a group called Visible. It's uh, operated uh, as part of Verizon. Uh, Visible, they actually... Uh, there are a group, and if someone leaves the group, immediately the other members need to bring someone else in order to keep the discount. 
So you can see these are all different examples of the digital brands. So we have the first, first we have the big telecoms. Then we have the way to come on the market lean with the digital brands. Of course, it can be done by basically anyone because the digital brands can be, in, in majority of the countries, digital brand can be operated basically by anyone. And uh, on the other side, software industry needs somehow to address all these needs. So how, what is the solution? We have the need. What is the solution? How the telecoms are going to operate this? What kind of business support software they need? Here, Amdox comes with a solution in order to address the needs of the digital brands. And this is the digital brand suit. Uh, it comes with its own digital care and e-commerce platform, its own inbuilt catalog. It has the modules for ordering, fulfillment, monetization. Basically, it covers all the needs of a new digital brand operator to launch. You have the, you have the catalog, you have the commerce platforms, you have the ordering, and at the end, you have the monetization to take the revenue. This is uh, <clears throat> built with partnership uh, with Amazon. It's powered by AWS. It has extremely fast time to market. Basically, you configure the offer, and just in a few minutes, it's available for all the users. It has pre-built customer journeys. It's cloud native, as I said, deployed on AWS. So this is, it, it comes as a SaaS service. It means that it's deployed, installed. The moment you decide to become a telecom, you just need a few weeks in order to start operating as a telecom. And last but not least, it provides total digital experience. It means that you have the digital experience as the user. Your support guys have the digital experience and all the support needs and all the support journeys. The business users have their business user journeys. And nevertheless, the developers, also the third party developers, they have their own total digital experience with their portal. Thank you. <laughs>